Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Rawat. I'm working as a chairman and head Department of Surgical Gastroenterology and Liver Transplants at Sir Gangaram Hospital. I joined Sir Gangaram Hospital roughly about a year and four or five months ago. Uh, before that, I was working in uh, UK as a consultant surgeon for uh, 17 years. I'm an alumni of Molana Azad Medical College. Since I have worked in UK for 17 years and here also uh, for last one year and four months, so I can, I can uh, tell you that you know we are following all the international uh, guidelines and protocol here in our department. In our department we are doing uh, GI surgery which covers upper GI cancers and all other upper GI disease. Also we are working on colorectal uh, diseases as well which include colorectal cancer, inflammatory bowel disease which is ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. We are also one of the largest uh, surgical gastroenterology and liver uh, transplant centers in India and is one of the premier one in the world. 70% of the liver transplant surgery which is done anywhere in India is done by the surgeons who were in Gangaram or were trained in Gangaram Hospital. We have started doing a lot of advanced laparoscopic uh, GI cancer work and I would say our center is doing roughly about the maximum number of cases. We are doing laparoscopic uh, and robotic esophagectomy, laparoscopic D2 gastrectomy, that is for the cancer of the stomach, and laparoscopic and robotic esophagectomy is if the patient is presented with dysphagia and has got esophageal cancer. Other cancer surgeons' uh, surgery which we are doing is a pancreatic cancer surgery. Also, the cancer surgery of colorectal uh, diseases. We have recently uh, done a robotic low anterior resection where the tumor was located quite low in the rectum. So the robot gave us a edge so that we can go deeper into the plane and preserve his sphincter and as a, as a result of which he avoided a permanent colostomy. Also, we have done laparoscopic proper segmental uh, uh, liver surgery. Uh, this has also been uh, performed in very, very few center. And I would say the laparoscopic and robotic uh, esophageal cancer surgery, our center would be doing the maximum number of cases uh, in, in North India. We have also done robotic hepaticojejunostomy. That is after the patient had a complication following cholecystectomy elsewhere, the patient came from Gwalior where the common bile duct was damaged while doing laparoscopic cholecystectomy and this is the first time in the literature of uh, medical field that this case uh, has been uh, done. Laparoscopic uh, hepatic jejunostomy for a patient who had a complication following laparoscopic cholecystectomy and uh, this has never been reported in medical literature before. So we are doing quite an advanced surgery in uh, our department. That is the reason why our department is in the forefront and uh, uh, we provide uh, uh, you know, the ethical practice and the good practice. And that is one of the reasons why I am associated with uh, Credi Health because this is, uh, uh, this is the principle which they are following. Regarding the symptoms, what I would say that liver, liver cancer uh, and the liver failure has increased tremendously uh, in India in last uh, one or two decades. Now the patient are coming early and if, if the patient is being diagnosed early, a treatment could be initiated at the earliest stage where, the, where it could be more successful. And uh, it is a lifestyle adjustment which a uh, patient needs to make. Uh, I think what I would suggest is, uh, f especially for liver, uh, have, a, have a alcohol in moderation, have a uh, prophylaxis for hepatitis B, hepatitis B vaccine is there, have a safe sex so that you don't get hepatitis C, and also uh, there are other risk factors uh, for uh, liver cancer, one of them is diabetes as well, which I would suggest 
that you know make a life lifestyle adjustment and try not to have a lot of sugary drinks thank you